What's up, pups? Oh, I just hit myself with a face. What is that? What's up, pups? How you guys doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. So I wanted to film a very quick mail haul today. Well, a mail time mail. What are we calling this again? I don't really know what we were calling it. It's been a while, but I happened to go check my PO box the other day because I was dropping off a ton of Etsy orders. And I was like, let me just check it because I'll be honest, I don't get mail to my PO box very often. But when I went, I had a letter and three of like the key things to like the bigger boxes and I had three packages waiting for me which was crazy and awesome and exciting and it really made my day because I had a really bad morning so I'm gonna open that stuff right now and we're gonna see what you guys sent me so this was the first thing that was in my PO box um, it says it's from create space so it's a book called the automation volume one of the Circo del Herrero series anonymous it looks like it's about robots and androids it's kind of giving me a, a doctor who vibe like the clockwork droid it's very cool it literally doesn't tell me who it's from i don't know who it's from did you send me this if you did please comment down below thank you i think i received a book a couple months ago too and the book that came had no like from like it just was a book that was sent to me so Who's sending me these books? I'm so, like, I just need to know who's sending me books. This is awesome. Thank you so much, whoever you are. I'm gonna read this and I will let you know what I think. This is awesome. I love science fiction and fantasy novels, so <sighs> thank you. The second package right here says, do not bend all over it. So let's not bend it and get into it. Basically, it's from Nick and he just says that he enjoys my videos. Ooh, you told me what you sent before I could see it. Something Doctor Who and a magnet. Listen, Nick, you know, you know about my love of magnets. Nick also has a YouTube channel. I will link it down below. It's Movie Mania Nick and he has a Twitter account under Yankees Nick. And he does say that he does movie reviews, filming locations, and random fun stuff. So yeah, awesome. Let's see what you sent, Nick. I'm so excited. Oh, wow. What are you barking at? What? Luna, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. This is so cool. So I just opened this up and like, I thought it was like a print of some kind. So like I took off the plastic to see what it was. No guys, it's a giant postcard. This is amazing. And of course, I'm digging this like collage feel on the front. This is amazing. Thank you so much, Nick. Okay, and digging in the bag. Ooh, Ocean City, Maryland magnet. I have never been to Maryland. This is so awesome. How's the weather there? Is it good? Is it bad? How are you? How are you holding up, Nick? How are you holding up? I guess the closest that I've been to Maryland is when I was just in DC, but this is awesome. Thank you so much. I love magnets. I know I sound so silly when I say that, but like legitimately magnets make me so happy because I feel like it's the one thing that you can collect and you're not like a complete weirdo. Like, you know when people collect stamps and they're like, you collect stamps? But like with magnets, it's just a magnet. Like they go in your fridge. They're fun to look at. People come over and they're like, wow, look at all these magnets. Then you're like the superstar. I love them. Thank you so much. This is awesome. We have a letter here. Let's open up the letter. Whoa. Wow. Um, wow, thank you. Um, this is from Daniel, um, one of my subscribers, and that's really awesome. Like, I, I think it's a little bit too personal for me to like share what's in the letter. Um, but thank you, Daniel, that's, I need to get in touch with you. <laughs> I need to get in touch with you. So if you're watching this, just know that I'm, I'm trying to get in touch with you. I'm gonna reach out on Twitter and Facebook and see if I can find you, cause wow. Thank you though, like, thank you so much. Like I know that you guys are probably like, what is it? But I, I just really think that it's a little bit personal for me to share um, exactly what it is, but thank you. That's all I'm gonna, like I'm, thank you. All right, and the last thing that we have, at first it just looked like a giant box, and then on the side I saw Try the World, which if you guys have been subscribed for a while, you know that Try the World was something that I used to receive in the mail a couple years ago, like I think two, two years ago, um, and I used to do unboxings for them, and yeah, this is awesome. Let's see what's inside. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is actually from Try the World, and they acknowledge that I used to do unboxings for them, and they say that their boxes are now a little bit different, and they've changed in the last couple of years. So apparently Try the World now has monthly boxes, which when I used to do unboxings, I think the boxes were every two or three months. I think they were over three months. But now they do monthly boxes, and they have a snack box that features items from five different countries. 
That's awesome. Okay, so let's let's check out this box. Wow, thank you, Diego. Thank you so much for sending me this. It says that he threw in some extra snacks here around the box as well, so let's check those out. Ooh, there's a citrus crumble cake from Spain. Hmm. We have, ooh, please be red because I don't know about this. We have some sweet licorice. I'm assuming sweet licorice means red, please. <laughs> oh, it's black. <laughs> I don't like black licorice! Although I will be quite honest, I've never tried like authentic black licorice. I've only ever tried like black licorice that they sell here, which is probably not like actual like good licorice. It's probably like artificial flavoring and whatever, even though I know this is probably artificial. Whatever, you know what I mean. Also, I totally get that there are gonna be people who comment like red licorice is not a thing. Like licorice is black, like licorice is licorice. Red licorice is not accurate. I get that. Hopefully this just won't be like the taste that I associate with like black licorice, so. Either way, this might make for a really good video. If you guys want to see me try all of these treats in a separate video, let me know and I will plan for that. So this is from Brazil and I don't actually know what it is. It just says Goiabada? Yeah, I definitely think if you guys are down for it, I might do like a video trying all this stuff because it might be fun. So this is Ruby Red Restorative Winter Calming Tea. Ooh, since we're coming up on winter, I am okay with this. This is from the UK. Very cool. All right, and now for the actual box, which is like really in here. Love the new design, you guys. This used to be a square box, and now it's like a really cool rectangular thing. Oh, the worms are gonna get everywhere. Bring this back. I need to, I need to open it over the cardboard box so I can make sure the worms don't go everywhere. Oh, it's not worms. It's like, what is that? It's like, it looks like noodles. Wow, okay, this is the Portugal box. Wow, you guys really have amped up your boxes. If you guys are interested in checking out the Try the World unboxings that I used to do, I'll have a card pop up here. Um, their boxes have always been incredible, but this is like next level. Like, this looks really good. They included this really awesome little pamphlet that has recipes on it, and it tells you about the things that you receive in the box. Kind of gives you a little bit of the history and culture in regards to Portugal. It tells you about the different places that the items in the box come from in Portugal. Very cool. So the first thing I see here is a seasoning for codfish. Co I've never had codfish or cod but it looks like it's just bay leaf and parsley, garlic and sea salt. So this might be a good seasoning for other stuff too. <laughs> Cause I don't know if I'll ever have codfish. I'm not like a big fish fan. Ooh, we got more tea. Listen, I am always down for tea and it's loose leaf. I have a loose leaf teapot. It's black tea with apple and cinnamon. Sounds like another winter tea to me. I'm, I'm down with it. Wow, these are like hard noodles. Like it literally, did you guys just send me like loose noodles? <laughs> Cause if you did, I'm okay with it. I'll go cook them right now. Ooh, look at this. Okay, so this is gourmet extra virgin olive oil. I, I'm one of those people that cook with olive oil above all other oils. That sounded, that almost sounded olive oil all over all other oils. <laughs> I don't really like vegetable oil or any of those other weird ones that come in like the same bottle. They just have different names. Usually it's olive oil that I cook with or coconut oil, but olive oil is always a good choice. Then we have caramelized onions with balsamic reduction and port wine. This is definitely something that I'll be using in cooking for Thanksgiving because I always make a caramelized onion dish that goes with the turkey. So I'm definitely gonna try this out. Casa Lucina Portugal lemon cookies. Ian's gonna fight me for these. Ian's favorite type of cookie is lemon cookie, so he's probably gonna end up stealing these from me, but ooh. Ooh, girl. <laughs> I don't know if this is, this might be, this might be something that I give away um, to like one of my friends or someone who would eat this. This is definitely something that I'm not gonna be down to try, but um, they are Jack mackerels and olive oil. I'm not, I'm not about that life. I still think the packaging is really cute. Uh, looks a lot better than how they package this type of stuff over here. Just comes in like a metal can. I'm sure this is in a metal can too, but like it just looks a lot, a lot prettier. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll find someone who makes like homemade Caesar dressing because I'm assuming this tastes just like anchovies or similar. Yeah, but it's kind of scary. Makes me, makes me scared. I just, I'm not like a fish person. I just don't really like fish very much. So this is pear, ro roca pear jam um, from Portugal and it's just, oh, it's pear and lemon. That sounds really good. I love weird jellies. My favorite jelly of all time is apricot jelly and I get made fun of all the time for really enjoying it. People are like, what, apricot? What is that? What do you mean, what is that? It's the best jelly ever. And it looks like the last thing in the box 
is, ooh, this is gonna come in handy for tomorrow. So if you guys don't know, I have a collab channel with Sport, um, who I met through Dashi, and we have a channel where we upload once a week. Um, one of the videos that we're filming tomorrow is going to be a hot sauce challenge, and they totally sent me like a crazy looking hot sauce. Check it out, Piri Piri hot sauce. I'll be trying this tomorrow. I'm probably gonna hate myself and hate my life, um, but it'll definitely be something that you'll see me react to on our collab channel. So I'll make sure to tweet to you guys or link to you guys on Facebook so you'll be able to see that. But oh, that's gonna be fun. Thank you, Diego from Try the World for sending me this. I I've always been a huge fan of the boxes, and I'm I'm 100 down for any future collaborations that you want to do. I know that you guys watching, my viewers, would absolutely love this type of stuff. The things that they send you, I think. The, my most favorite box of all time was the France box. The caramels still haunt my dreams from that box. Those caramels were two, nine, four, and I haven't found anything that comes remotely close to being like those caramels. They were like these like dark sea salt car- oh god. I can't even think about them because I'm gonna get like angry that I can't have them anymore because they're gone. I like made them last and now they're gone. Anyway, you guys, I just want to thank every single one of you who sent me something. I still want to know who sent me the book, so if it was you, please comment down below. Thank you so much, Nick, for the wonderful Doctor Who postcard and the magnet. Thank you so much, Daniel. We're gonna get in touch because you are a rock star and I can't even begin to say thank you. And thank you, Try the World. Thank you, Diego, for sending me this box. Definitely gonna be making another video where I try all of these snack food items from that and I'm definitely gonna be featuring this hot sauce in a video that I film tomorrow. By the way, if you guys are interested in checking out Try the World, I will leave a link down below. They are not paying me to promote this. They sent this to me out of the goodness of their heart to just review and I love it and I'm on board 110%. So yeah. Anyway, you guys, I hope that you have an awesome upcoming weekend and week. If this is the first video that you're seeing of mine, hi, I'm Kaylee. You should subscribe by hitting that red button right down below and we can become best friends forever. Links to my Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, and Instagram are also down below. I'll see you guys in a few days with another video. Bye everyone.